Hello friends, my name is Sagar Raut and today I am going to, going to brief you about the different type of analysis in the market. Well, technically speaking, there are three types of analysis in the market. One is fundamental, one is technical and third is behavioral analysis. Fundamentals and technicals are quite older form of analysis of stock market but behavioral analysis is something which has come new in the market. It is also known as sentimental analysis. Let's discuss first about fundamental analysis. Uh, fundamental analyst for doing fundamental analysis generally goes to search for a company's history, geography, the entire background of the company. He will normally look at the company's balance sheets, its solvency ratios, it li its liquidity ratios, the company's working capital, the, the company's operating profits, the consolidated profits, etc. etc. By looking such things, a fundamental analyst will generally uh, go to find out the intrinsic value of a stock. By finding the intrinsic value of a stock, the fundamental analyst comes to know whether the stock is undervalued or whether it is overvalued. Now, that is how uh, if the stock is undervalued, a, a, a analyst generally goes for investment in the stock, which helps him to earn profits in the longer run. Uh, we know few of the fundamental analysts like Warren Buffett or say when it comes to India like Rakesh Junjunwala. Now, whereas uh, when we talk about behavioral analysis, it's a totally new concept which has arrived recently in the market and it generally focuses on the psychology of the people in the market. It, it doesn't look at the fundamental factors. It sees to how people react to different uh, situations when the, uh, how people react to different situations or conditions in the market. Many a times it happens that uh, there the economy is weak and the market is still rising up. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? What is the psychology of the people at that time in the market? That is what is looked and behavioral analysis or sentimental analysis. Now, talking about technical, what we teach over here, uh, in technical analysis, it's rather not like fundamental analysis. It's not at all that we look at the operating profits or look at the company's business or anything related to company's history or geography. Here, we only look at the price of a stock. Uh, technical analysis, te or technical analyst rather, works on one theory. That's history, re history repeats itself. And he believes that history will repeat itself. If a stock has fallen down, that tomorrow it will rise. And if it has risen, then tomorrow it will fall. That's what a technical analyst thinks. Now, there are various indicators like moving averages or MACDs or RSIs or such stochastics as you must have heard. And these are the indicators that we use over here uh, for technical analysis. Uh, talking about where technical analysis edges fundamental analysis or behavioral analysis. Now, talking about behavioral and fundamental, it's not the cup of tea for everyone. When it comes to behavioral analysis or technical analysis, uh, say first of all, let's talk about fundamental analysis. Uh, to look at the solvency ratios or look at the profits of the company, you need to have a background. You need to have a total background of finance. Whereas when it comes to behavioral analysis, it's very difficult to predict the psychology of the people. Whereas in technical analysis, it's rather just look at the charts, you look at the moving averages, you look at what the MACDs or the RSI is doing, and that helps you find how to do profits in the market. That is where technical analysis edges. Secondly, when you talk about fundamentals, uh, there is one more drawback which I, uh, I personally believe it has a drawback, that the profits which you get or which is shown on these websites or the internet uh, can rather not be true that that's where I think technical analysis whatever the price you get on the screen is always true that is where it edges uh, secondly uh, I would like to introduce how we teach over here uh, about some of the course durations and all of the, the all those things uh, our course duration over here is divided into two parts Firstly, it's theory, which we generally teach from Monday to Friday, but we have two batches for working personals also, because working personals can't come over here from Monday to Friday. So we have a Saturdays and Sundays batch, which is a prolonged batch, uh, which we take over here. And then after completion of theory, generally theory takes around four to five days to complete. After that, we do live market sessions because, you know, anyone can teach you uh, looking in the, in, in the books. Just I can read inside a book and I can teach you whatever is there. But, you know, when it, when it comes to live market, that is where the real thing comes. So we teach here in live market. Anytime after doing your course, you can come over here and uh, you can do live markets. You can ask us questions, how to trade and what all things. Uh, what we basically do here is, after the post-market session firstly, uh, we show students, our students, how to remove scripts, how to, how to know which, which script is better to trade 
for the next day or for the coming week that is what we do over here so when they paper trade it they come to know that whatever whatever the uh, for example say around uh, uh, whatever we have uh, now for, for example we we can take this script named ranbaxy now its monthly chart is clearly showing us a bearish trend so when it comes to viewers we can give them certain levels whether at which level to short sell Ranbaxy, which is the level to buy Ranbaxy. So as we are looking at the monthly chart over here, my target will be set for monthly charts. So that is what you can do from technical analysis. And this is how we teach over here. Secondly, in the live market also looking at the intraday charts, uh, we show in the live markets where to trade for coming 15 minutes or say for coming one hour or say if you want to do it for three or four hours of trading, then too we have certain charts which can range from say around three minutes or one minute rather till 60 minutes, these are all the intraday charts, then we have daily charts, we have weekly charts, monthly charts, quarterly charts and yearly charts. There are many charts that we can look for and as, as a technical analyst, I believe that for a short term trader, technical analysis is very much useful because when when a person goes for investment, he rather goes for fundamental analysis, analysis which, is, uh, which is two years or more, it is a prolonged period of time but if you want to do uh, something which is at a shorter period, say around three months or so, then you are supposed to go for technical analysis only. Thirdly, about having market, market psychology. It's not just about doing fundamental analysis or doing technical analysis and you earn profits in the market. It's about how, how what kind of psychology you should have in the market while you trade. There are some of the traders who, who do fun, fantastically technical analysis over here. There are students here who do fantastically technical analysis over here. But the psychology in the market sometimes is not good. So that is what Mr. Sanjay Lard, our sir over here, he also teaches how to trade in the market. What are the positions and when are you supposed to enter and exit, uh, exit in the market and what type of market psychology you should have at that time and lastly talking about profits I don't say that technical analysis can double your money overnight but I can surely say that it is more beneficial than any other instruments as for example equity is beneficial than any other instruments available in the market uh, yes I, you can at least earn 50% to 60% of yearly profits if you do systematically trading in technical analysis. If you go systematically, then surely you will earn profits. But if you are if you are going to do the same gambling that you do in day-to-day -day basis, then it's not possible. As an employee over here, I'm a really very proud employee. Uh, and I always convey my regards to Mr. Sanjay Lad who taught me technical analysis. It has been one year that I'm doing technical analysis over here and uh, I can do it very well. I, I generally look at uh, many of the channels, uh, the equity channels, or the business channels in the on TV and when I find that my technical analysis always matches with theirs, I get a proud feeling that I can do technical analysis at the age of 20, what the technical experts do at the age of 60 or 70 maybe. Thank you.